I don't know how I feel about this background. It feels very, very empty. But it was my brother's idea of having like a blank background. I, I literally don't know how this is gonna look on camera. But um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hello artists and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. I really really hope that you guys enjoy today's video. If you watch artistic or creative content on YouTube, you've probably come across the trend where people take coloring books or children's coloring books and try to color it in professionally. In today's video I thought it would be extremely fun to try and copy those people because why not? There is really nothing more to it so let's just get into this video. I was at a party when I decided to start recording. Very antisocial. I am. I am. I really am. So before I started coloring or sketching or shading or anything at all, I went onto Pinterest, which is my favorite site for reference images, to find a suitable reference image. It literally took me like 10 to 20 minutes to find a few dozen different reference images that inspired me. And this is why I like Pinterest so much. There's like literally so many different images and it's just a great site to find pictures and reference images. I started off very simple by just adding in a few details with a black pen. Initially I just wanted to draw in a few extra lines and shapes, but after a while I couldn't resist and I needed to shade some more just to add that depth. I really liked the way it turned out, it had nice depth and a lot of contrast, which I just thought looked absolutely amazing. I don't know why I said it like that. Amazing! So for the majority of the sketch I used different shades of green. I used lighter shades of green as well as yellow to color in the highlights while focusing on the darker greens to color in the shadows. All in all, it's a very, very simple process. It's literally just repetitive, but it was so, so enjoyable to color in the entire thing. On the hind legs, I think that's what you call them, there was like a different pattern and I wanted to make it pop, so I added in some yellow and orange. So for the thorax of the Cricut, I used a lot of yellow shades as well as an ochre, just to add that highlight and just make it pop. For the handle of the Cricut bat, I used shades like red and orange because red and orange complement the shade of green, which is just exactly what I needed to tie this entire thing together. All in all, it was a very simple process, it's just extremely repetitive. But, with that being said, it was also extremely enjoyable. And I was also very very satisfied with how it turned out in the end. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I truly hope that you enjoyed watching it. I really enjoyed making it and I know I say this in like every single video. The only reason I'm saying this now is because I've already pre-recorded a few different videos and spoiler alert, I do say that in those videos as well, but it's because I truly, truly do enjoy making these videos for you guys. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and if you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more content like this and definitely a lot of other different creative content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Always be creative, stay artistic, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.